The auto scraper Python library is a simple to use web scraper that can pull structured data from a website with just a few lines of code. It works by learning from example data you provide, meaning you don't have to write complex HTML parsing rules yourself. Instead, you give it a sample result and it automatically scrapes other matching items from the page. Here are two examples of use cases. The first is for pulling news headline data and the second is for pulling structured tabular data. To begin, you'll need to install the Autoscraper package through pip into your Python environment. We then identify a website from which we want to pull news headlines and copy the target website's address into a Python notebook as an object which we'll call URL. The next step is to take an example instance or two of the data that we'll want to pull. Here, I'll copy the headline of the first news release label, Applications Now Open Nationwide for Community-Led Heat Monitoring Campaigns and I'll paste it into our code as a list, which I'll call news underscore list. This is usually enough for the auto scraper to identify patterns of similarly coded HTML elements elsewhere on the web page, but you could paste additional headlines into the list to give more examples if necessary. The next few lines of code are fairly straightforward. We start by creating an auto scraper instance, then use the build function, which takes the URL as the first argument and our example list as the second. This will point Autoscraper to the new site we chose and will retrieve all similar HTML items. We can then print the result object to check whether we were able to web scrape the other headlines on the web page. In this case, we were. For the second use case, we are going to pull structured table data from Wikipedia. From the page on counties in California, I want to grab the county name and the year the county was established from an embedded table. As in the previous example, I first copy the web page URL into the Python file. I then create two lists, one for each table column I want. For additional context for the auto scraper, I paste in the first and last values for each of the columns. I then initiate the auto scraper and build it separately for each column. With the two lists of data extracted, we can now place them back together by creating a data frame. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like and subscribe to the DeepCharts channel for more machine learning and data science coding tutorials.